Hey everyone, it's Terry here, Terry Till. In this video, I am going to look at creating a Facebook thumbnail. Um, as I know a lot of people want to do content, and one of the things they look to do and find difficult usually is to create a good looking thumbnail. There are some soft softwares you can buy, uh, but in this uh, tutorial, uh, I'm going to be using a free online site called Canva. Dot com and that's Canva uh, spelled C A N V A and then dot com Canva dot com. Um, I'm going to be doing this live, so uh, expect mistakes and things to happen. Um, but I think if I do it live, then it shows uh, how to correct anything, and we're all learning. So uh, I hope it's going to be useful. Uh, I'm going to put the video on pause and then bring up uh, the software to record the screen and then we'll go and log into Canva and we'll, uh, we'll see how we go with creating this thumbnail. Okay, so on the screen I've logged into Canva.com. So as I say, that's C-A-N-V-A dot com. Uh, when you go to the, the Canva.com first time, you'll probably have to register, uh, which will be the... Normal details, your address, email address, etc. Uh, name, email address, etc. So just register. Uh, it is completely free, the basic version, which is the version I use. And uh, then once you've registered, you should be able to log into your Canva uh, office. And uh, when you log in, you should see this screen. And what we're looking to do is uh, there, there, there are lots of different templates. For this uh, tutorial, I was just going to show how to create um, the, a YouTube thumbnail. Um, if you look on the left hand side, you've got a menu and you've got templates. And if you click on that, it'll bring up all the different types of templates. So we've got uh, Facebook posts, Instagram stories, Instagram posts, Facebook covers, or flyers, all kinds of things. And then you can see there we've got YouTube thumbnails, which does an excellent job. So if you just click on there, left click on YouTube thumbnails. And then it should give us a selection of thumbnails we can choose from. And I'm now Creative Genius. You may be way, way more advanced and creative than myself, but at the end of the day, you can create a thumbnail that's that's professional looking, and uh, the limits of how good it is is down to yourself. Um, so I'm looking for something to use as a thumbnail for this particular video I'm shooting now, how to create a thumbnail. So, uh, oops. Let me just move that. Clicked on that one by mistake. Let's just move my little picture back up into the corner. There we go. Um, just find something that's... Oh, I'll do it again. I did say this video would be full of uh, possible errors. <laughs> uh, there we go. So I can get on the page. Um, yeah. Just find something that you think oh that looks pretty good and uh, just trying to find something so really something to do with a tutorial or something that stands out making the perfect cup of coffee uh, yeah not quite sure that I can see anything at the moment so bear with me can we see anything Do, 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 do. And when you've created uh, a design, you can actually uh, keep the designs. So, what I think I might do, just for this tutorial, is go to one that I've created before and use that if I can't see anything uh, that looks appropriate. Of something a 
Yeah. Just can't see anything that's capturing my imagination at the moment. Let's try this one. Don't know why. Let's try this one. So let's use this template and see what we can do. Okay, so what have we got? Uh, we want to can use this part. So if we tap on there, we can change the text. So if we highlight all the text and then erase the text and then we can put in that text uh, how we we'll keep it all capital so we how to create YouTube thumbnail. Text is a bit too large for that space available. So if we highlight the text and we can come up to the text size there, 28. I think you can actually just, you can use your arrows to enlarge these boxes a little bit just to fit it in there. And what I should say, this, this, actual template is the size you're working within so if you want to put elements in if you look down the left hand side you've got different uh, categories text elements uh, videos backgrounds uh, you can up upload images so there's quite a lot you can do so if you wanted to say put an, an element in on one of the corners like um, let's have a look circles are usually good so if you select circle shape you could uh where can we have this let's have a think this top left hand corner so if we get rid of this get rid of that and then we can select the circle and we should be able to move that over to the corner now what's on the template is showing but what's outside the template obviously won't be there so from a circle you can just put this off sort of moon shape in the corner and also this is the color selected so we could change the color and if we wanted to put I don't know let's just some color just have that blue color it's only a demonstration just to so you can create shapes so it's all down to creativity and as i say oops there we go i'm now a great um, artist so um, we'll get rid of that i'm going to make this really simple as it's just a demonstration um uh, now uploads i've got quite a bit of uploading i want to put a photograph of myself on and if you can find some photographs that i've uploaded i'm sure somewhere along there we go, we've got an image we can bring in there from my selection. And we can move that image wherever we wish. So I think I might get rid of this just temporarily. And then I might put the image just in the corner. So we've got how to create a thumbnail, YouTube thumbnail. I've got a little photograph. This wouldn't be an image as it stands at the moment, probably I'd use. I'd want probably put a little bit more on here because it's a bit empty. Um, trying to think what I could put in. Um, not sure. This is where your creativity will come in and no doubt be far better than mine. But the main thing is, it's a thumbnail and then really it's down to your own creativity of uh, what you do on the thumbnail now what you want to remember is this this title at the top here uh, you can you can remove that 
and type in the title that you want to be on your image because anything that you can put in Fiverr or Facebook to link on to what the image is to do with and this is the same with videos you create so if you call the thumbnail or the image uh, whatever it is you're trying to get out to people so in this case how to create a YouTube thumbnail that will be like a search term and that image or video will be linked uh, as as how to create a YouTube thumbnail in this instance so if somebody goes on to YouTube to uh, search for that this will be something that will rank with YouTube to show uh, so it's in your favor in um, an SEO sort of way uh, and this applies be it for thumbnails, uh, videos, anything. Anything you can put in your favour to, to make yourself stand out and to link yourself in some sort of way if somebody searches for something. It's all good uh, practice. So um, let me just type in how to create. YouTube thumbnail so we'll keep that so what you do then you go up to this file link at the top left click on that come down to save and then what you need to do then is download to your computer so if I can just move this picture because that image stops me clicking on some of the things uh, what you would do then you would click on this little arrow next to download then click on this download button give it a few seconds wait for that to come across and then you'll get a save file there save file if you click on OK you will then I'm on the Windows laptop you will then see a little arrow start flashing and that if you click on there will give you oh, let me just move this picture again over that will tell you where the file is on your computer and you can open that file then and uh, cut the file and put it into any folder or you can download it onto your, uh, a specific folder on your laptop or you can load it onto the uh, home page wherever is convenient so if I open it up see open containing folder And I can see it's highlighted at the bottom, so I can right click, cut it, and then go and paste it into a folder on my laptop. And then I can find it easily when I'm looking to put the uh, thumbnail and the video on YouTube. Um, so that is a very rough and ready uh, video tutorial to show you how to create a thumbnail. But if you've got any questions, which I'm sure you probably have loads, um, obviously just put them in the comments below the video on YouTube. And uh, when I see them, I'll answer them and uh, hopefully get back to you as quickly as possible. So uh, I hope, hope that's been... I uh, hope that's been informative and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.